Hello and welcome to this video, I am Andy. In this video I will be showcasing a very cheesy team game strategy uh, which you can do on the ladder. So yeah, in this game we just queued up the ladder and then we met those Finnish guys on the ladder and we were not ready for what they had in store for us. So let's go. So the strategy revolves around slinging your teammate so, so he can click up very fast and produce uh, spearmen as fast as possible and destroy the enemy town center as fast as possible. So, so what is slinging? Basically slinging is when your teammates are doing nothing but sending their resources to you or to another player. So as you can see we are 30 seconds into the game and our Inca player or Inca enemy player already has the resources to click up and he clicks up. So he hasn't done a single villager. He, the first thing he does is he clicks up and sends um, his villagers forward. So why did he pick Inca for the strategy? Inca have a politician which makes him age up faster and they also have um, a spearman shipment and additionally they got a big button um, where they get another five uh, spearmen. So the Inca player is up at one minute and ten seconds and now he's going to steal the treasure of my ally. That is obviously not mandatory but if you're going for a cheesy strategy like that you might as well be as annoying as possible for your enemies. So the Inca player is now sending his first shipment after stealing the treasure and waiting for, for the 500 food so he can click the big button and get 5 more spearmen. So for reference, some other rushes, so for example the Ottoman Janissary rush would hit at around 4 minutes and he would be up to colonial or commerce age at 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And this Inca player is up at 1 minute 10 and his units will be out at 2.30. So for the moment he will just siege down the house and as soon as his other 5 spearmen hit he can start sieging down the town center. So just as most of the melee infantry type units the plumed spearman has very much siege attack as well. So in this case he has 42 siege attack and he will start sieging down the TC at around 3 minutes. Keep in mind most civilizations will be up at 4 minutes and the only unit you will have at this point is your explorer and uh, maybe some scouts. So native scout for example and maybe if you send some, some bears or some animals but usually you don't get them so practically you don't have any units. The only unit you can do is the Minuteman uh, from the TC and yeah, that's like the only defense you have. So in this case it's even worse for my ally because he's Indians and he doesn't have the regular Minutemen. He only has those Irregulars which are weaker than regular Minutemen. And yeah, as you, you, you can also see here that the explorer of the Inca used his ability to, um, to shoot the Minutemen down really quick so they didn't do much. So at 3 minutes 30 seconds, the first TC is down. So that means that the first guy who got hit usually doesn't even go to Commerce Age. And now the cheese is continuing, for whatever reason, he doesn't go for the British guy, but he's going straight for me. Maybe because uh, our British guy is already up to Commerce Age, but I don't know exactly why he did it. So at 4 minutes and 20 seconds, he's starting to siege down the second TC. In this case I'm a little bit prepared because I gathered some gold and some food so I can get out my Minutemen right away. But yeah, I went for a greedy build and was very slow. So yeah, at around 5 minutes 30, right after I hit Commerce Age, my TC is down and we are down to TCs at four, 5 minutes and 30. So what's the counter to the strategy? So if you see someone hitting Commerce Age at around 1 minute and 30, it's obvious that, they, that the teammates sling, sling the resources to him. So at this point I think you need to sling resources to one of your teammates so he can go up really fast too and start sending his unit cards and try to defend it. Also, um, if you can't defend the first TC, which is very likely, um, you also need your one of your allies who is untouched to go for cavalry 
and just raid the hell out of the enemy team. But yeah, we didn't exactly know how to counter this in this game, so we went on to lose this game. It dragged on for another 20 minutes, but in the end we just lost it, because we were too far behind at this point. So congratulations to Prince and his Finnish allies um, for pulling off their cheese and to win that game. It was obviously a deserved victory and I rate the strategy 9 out of 10 Gouda cheeses. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video and if you have an idea how to counter the strategy let me know in the comments. Bye bye.